All right, so uh, hello everyone. So again, my name is Andrew Nazes, and today I'll be discussing the use of the Vediverse system for slope stabilization and erosion prevention. So I'll start off with a brief description of the Vediverse system, explain what Vediverse is, its unique properties that make it uh, useful for bank stabilization, the advantages and limitations, and finally a summary of the presentation. So the vetiver system is a system of soil and water conservation that utilizes the property of, vetiver, of the vetiver plant in hedgerows. It is a proven system that has been used in more than 100 countries around the world for a variety of different applications such as bank stabilization, wastewater treatment, storm damage control, and environmental rehabilitation. The system is also promoted by Vetiver Network International who assert the system is, an or is the organic glue to support sustainable development at all scales. So what is Vetiver? Well, Chrysopogon ziganodes, more commonly referred to as Vetiver, is a non-invasive perennial bunch grass native to India. Um, although it has been used in the past for different applications, its use to conserve soil and water was first introduced by the World Bank in the mid-1980s. When planted in single rows, it will form a hedge that is extremely effective in slowing and spreading water runoff and reducing soil erosion. And although most hedges are capable of doing this, the vetiver hedges are the most effective due to its unique morphological and physiological properties. So vetiver is referred to as a living soil nail due to its unique root system. Unlike most plants that have root systems that grow out horizontally, vetiver roots grow vertically and are capable of growing down to 4 meters in just one year. Vetiver also possesses stiff and erect stems that are capable of forming dense hedges that are effective at filtering sediments and standing up to relatively deep water flows. And because new shoots develop from underground, it is resistant to fire, frost, traffic, and grazing pressures, and is not limited when buried or trapped by sediment. So physiologically, vetiver is tolerant to extreme climatic variations and is capable of withstanding droughts, floods, and extreme cold and hot weather. It, is also, it also has wide tolerance to a wide range of soil conditions and is capable of growing in both acidic and alkaline soils. Vetiver is also tolerant to a wide range of herbicides, pesticides, and several heavy metals such as arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and zinc. It is also highly efficient at absorbing dissolved nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus, which has made it an ideal biofilter for wastewater treatment applications. Ecologically speaking, the cultivars used in the vetiver system do not produce fertile seeds and thus do not pose a risk of invasion. It is also considered a good nurse plant in that it has the ability to stabilize uh, erodible ground and conserve soil nutrients and moisture. And although vetiver is tolerant to many different forces, it is very intolerant to shade. However, this is beneficial in many restoration projects as this intolerance will allow other native species to colonize the slope once vetiver has established the appropriate soil structure. So in terms of advantages, the vetiver system is simple and requires relatively low maintenance. It is also a very feasible green technology and is approximately 1 20th the cost of traditional gray infrastructure such as concrete canvases. As well, the system's hedgerows gradually accumulate to form a long-lasting terrace that can withstand high-velocity flows and is extremely efficient at reducing rainfall runoff and sedimentation. And as previously discussed, it has a wide range of soil and climatic tolerances and is in an ideal nurse plant. However, the system does have some disadvantages. Although vetiver can tolerate cold weather, it cannot grow in long-lasting cold weather and is thus primarily limited to tropic and subtropic climates. And although it is, its shade intolerance is beneficial for restoration projects, this can potentially limit where the system can be used and may require additional maintenance during the establishment phase to control weeds. It is also very labor intensive initially and even dangerous in some situations depending on the scope of the project as you can see in this picture. So to summarize, as has been seen in this presentation, the unique properties of vetiver make the vetiver system ideal for slope stabilization and flash flood control and it is a good method for improving the vitality of barren slopes. So here are my references. I would also like to acknowledge and thank Dr. Nagati, Cesar, my primary and secondary reviewers, and all of you for your attention. Thank you.